So here we are looking at the new Mitsubishi Zubadan, which has just been installed. And here's Chris from Vesco, who's going to say a few words. Hello, so uh, this has been installed at Tim's house in uh, Rockmill, and uh, it's all plumbed in now. And um, uh, this will provide heat uh, and hot water for the home, uh, especially in the winter. And uh, we're very pleased to see an air source heat pump in Rockmill, or a second one as it happens in Rockmill. Maybe this will be. Um, an eco house this year. Maybe. And um, what would you say is the advantages of something like this? Uh, for you in Rob Mel, because you're off mains gas, a heat pump means you don't have to use oil. So there's a yeah. big advantage there. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. And also to say that we're using it with solar panels. Yes, I saw those uh, at the front there. So that's brilliant. And you also use a bit of wood fuel here too. We do. So you can offset some of the heat this might. Or on a very cold day when this is struggling, then you can use your uh, wood burner to do to back it okay. up. Good. Yeah, well this is a 14 kilowatt Mitsubishi Eco Dan. Um, it essentially works the same way as your refrigerator in your home, but in reverse. It extracts um, thermal energy from the outside air and converts it into your home in the form of um, hot water, much the same way as a conventional heating system. Okay, so why do you think it's a good idea for me to have this? Well, the, the main reason is, um, well there's a few reasons, that obviously you're reducing your carbon footprint um, another reason is for every one kilowatt of energy that goes in, you get three kilowatts of energy out. So, you know, it's a, a, a real bonus. It's ideal in this situation also because you're on a, an, an off gas grid area, so there's not a lot of options where there is you could potentially have oil or LPG. So, obviously, this is a lot But with oil prices going up and everything, yes. Yeah, and certainly when it gets colder, obviously, oil's going up a hell of a lot. So, um, this is probably the cheapest form of uh, energy available. And uh, you said one of the main things about this is educating the consumer so they yeah. know how to use it because it's a low temperature system. Yeah, I mean, in a normal conventional system you run at 75, 80 degrees and you have on-off periods for the heating. But with this system you run it, it works on a flow temperature of normally around 45 degrees. So you run the system really 24-7 and you might have a, on say 19, 20 and you have a setback temperature in the evening, take it down maybe two degrees. But so you're basically just saying you run it constantly but a lower constantly, temperature. Lower temperature and then obviously your hot water, it can also do your hot water so you'd have your hot water periods um, early in the morning say from three or four in the morning because obviously then it's doing it's a hot water priority so it won't be doing the heating and you won't notice the fact that the hot heating's off for maybe one hour, three quarters of an hour. Okay, so watch this space. Thanks a lot.